Welcome to the universe according to Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein had this crazy idea that space and time were curved, and it was the curvature of space that gave the appearance of gravity. Andrew Hamilton, University of Colorado. We tend to think of space as rigid and stable, but Einstein proposed that space and time are woven together in a flexible fabric. Massive objects like the sun actually bend and warp the fabric of space-time, creating troughs that smaller objects can fall into. Brian McNamara. What actually happens is matter warps space-time. So the very space, the three-dimensional space that we walk through, warps slightly. Every time when you walk, when I walk through space, space around me warps in on me ever so slightly. But because we're not very massive, it's so minuscule that we don't sense it. If an object is massive enough, like the Earth, it will warp space-time so we can sense it and fall towards it. That's gravity. But what happens if an object is much, much more massive than the Earth or the Sun? In theory, it could warp the fabric so much it would create an actual hole in space-time. Once something fell in, it couldn't escape, not even light itself. Neil deGrasse Tyson. So imagine a place where the gravity is so strong, turning on a flashlight. The light would go up and it would never leave. It would curve and come back down just the way a tossed ball on Earth is not traveling fast enough. It goes up, curves, and comes back down. Space itself is falling inside the black hole. It's rather like a, a river falling over a waterfall. Andrew Hamilton. It's like that, except it's space itself that's falling over the cliff. There's a place where the space starts moving faster than light. So the light, which is trying to get out, it's rather like a kayak trying to make their way upstream on a river that's going too fast. They get dragged down to the center of the black hole. Animation shows kayakers battling a current. Gravity becomes a riptide. The closer you get, the stronger the current. Eventually, you reach the event horizon, the point of no return. Deep inside, whatever goes in is lost in a point of infinite density. Kip Thorne, Caltech. The matter goes inside the surface of the black hole, shrinks down to the very center where it gets destroyed in a region of infinite warped space and time, and it's gone. And so, it seems, are the laws of physics. Animated equations disappear into a void. At the center of a black hole, all equations break down. Even for physicists, what happens deep inside a black hole is a mystery.